So let's just kind of go through an example like this. What if I gave you f of x equals x minus 3? Again, let's just follow the steps. First one, replace f of x with y. Step number two, swap the x and y variables. All right? Now, step number three, solve for y. So you see my y is being subtracted by 3, and it's under, it's under the square root. So you have to square it. So I have to undo the square root by squaring both sides. So now I have x squared equals y minus 3. Now, to solve for y, add 3. So y equals x squared plus 3, or f inverse of x equals x squared plus Okay, now I can use. Hello. 